SQ was posted in the trading room earlier, and I'm buying right now at the pullback. It moved all the way up to 74.07, so moved over the whole number. That was a nice breakout, but did not continue much. I'm expecting this small pullback to take us over the high. So usually when stock is breaking out to a new high, it usually rather quickly goes back a bit and gives you a chance. I mean, sometimes it does, and it just gave me a, a chance to join. Now, EL is looking very nice. EL is up very strong today. Look at where it was yesterday, 136. It's up at 150 now. So it bounced twice exactly at the 150 mark, which is no surprise because it's a whole number. So if you take a look here and here, these two one-minute candles, we're only five minutes into the trading day, almost six minutes. And if it's going to move over 150, in fact, before it moves over 150, I'm going to click the button. Earlier, I did not do that. The reason I didn't do that earlier, because it was the first few minutes, the first two times it touched the 150. When it comes up for the third time, especially after this red candle that you're seeing here, which took it down, it rejected the lows, it's getting back to the 150. That means that once it's going to go through, I'm going to click the button before now. Click the button before it moves to a new high. I hope it will move to a new high because the third time usually takes it over. So it it's tested the 150 twice. It's coming back up for the 150. I'm clicking the button before it moves, and now we did. We have a new high. Great. Here we go. EL is moving. I was risking, risking approximately 50 cents, so I'm looking for around 50 cents partial. It just made the move over 150 and it looks great. Look at it goes, look at it goes. Okay, okay, I'm getting ready. I've got over a dollar now. It's over 151 pullback. Well, I could have got better. $1,300, almost $1,400 in EL. And SQ is doing good too. Now watch C1 here. C1 is down almost 8%. Stock is trending lower. And although the market is moving up, I wouldn't mind shorting it somewhere under 2130. Now, it looks great because it's coming down with a lot of downside momentum. We're getting close to 2130 mark. And I think that once it comes down under 2130, it's probably, which is now, well, a lot of buyers at 25. I'm clicking the button now. We just moved under 25. I'm short. 4,000 shares in C1. And again, the momentum in C1 is down. Look at the first three candles. And then a very small pullback, just two one-minute candles. And now we're seeing two candles coming down. So the momentum is down. If it was only down 1% or maybe even 2%, I wouldn't dare shorting it because the market is moving up right now. So when the market is moving up the way it does, I wouldn't short a stock that is down just, I don't know, up to 1% or maybe even 2%. But when a stock is down 8%, and this one's almost almost 9 by now, it usually will continue because that's a fear factor. It has nothing to do with market direction. Usually stocks are trading with market direction. 60% of the stock movement is with market direction. But this one's coming down with such a very, very nice momentum, so strong. When I mean, when the stock is down by now, by now 9%, just imagine who are the people who are holding the stocks and what they're thinking about uh, about the stock. And look at these two green candles here. Once it gave up and started coming down again, that's the fear taking it down now. So it has nothing to do with market direction. So it's getting very close to the $21 mark, as you can see here. That's the whole number. I'm a little bit concerned about the $21 here. So I'm thinking whether I should take my partial near the 21, which is really now, or let it move under. Look at the number of buyers. Look at the number of buyers. Watch the number of buyers always lining up at whole numbers. Look at the number of buyers at 21. So I just decided I'm going to wait a bit more because it came down to $21 with a lot of momentum. So it looks like it's going to break down under 21, although you're seeing the number of buyers and watch the number of buyers as they come down, which I hope will happen real soon. So watch it now. Again, it's bouncing off the 21. Look at how fast it's getting back to the 21 mark. This is all very important. You need to watch the level 2 at all time. Look at 21 now. Less buyers, less buyers, less buyers than we're under.
Now look at the seller side, fear factor. Sellers that just moved to 90 something. Look at the number of sellers. Any pullback now, I'm gonna take my partial. It's at my target and a bit more. I do see some signs of a pullback now, I'm clicking the button. I got my partial in C1. What a great trade. And again, when you trade with, with, with a stock that is coming down so strong with such a momentum, you don't need to watch the market direction. SQ just moved to a new high. I'm getting ready for a partial. Got it before 74, I have 60 something cents, almost 70 by now, getting ready for a partial. Gonna take 1800 shares out of my 2000 at any sign of pullbacks. Now, just moved under 60 for a second there. I, st I still think it's gonna continue. I have 200 shares and I hope it's going to continue, but look at this initial move over 74 here. And remember this very small pullback when I joined in and now selling, great trade. I just asked my trading room members to let me know how much they're doing and look at the numbers here. Uh, like Mark was up $1,200 and look at the rest, uh, $500, $800. That all happened in just 11 minutes. We're all trading together. My picks are posted right here on the right side. Every trade I take is posted here before I take it. I explain why I take it, where I take it, and what's the stop loss. And we're all trading together and you can do it too. Just join us for a free 14 day trial. Click on the link right here on the right top side uh, if you're on YouTube or or, uh, below if you're on Facebook and join us for a free 14 day trial and don't forget to subscribe to our channel so just click on the subscribe button and I'm looking forward to see you either here in our live trading room or in our YouTube trading room which is a free trading room just 13 minutes right now into the trading day and let me show you how I'm doing I'm doing good for 11 minutes. 11 minutes into trading and $900 in C1, 17 in EL, $1,300 uh, in SQ, and up almost four grand. And that all happened in just 11 minutes. What a great start for my trading day. Thank you for watching our video. Before you go, we invite you to join the TradeNet trading room for a free 14 day trial. Traded has educated more than 30,000 professional traders worldwide since 2004 and its trading room is one of the world's leading trading communities. Click here to start your free trial. If you like this video, please subscribe to our YouTube channel where you can view many more stock trading videos. Questions or comments, please submit them below.